Hey guys, today I'll show you a 2016 mystery film, Inferno. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts when a famous virus expert is making a speech. He is talking about the impact humanity has caused on the earth because of overpopulation. While he speaks of humanity as a disease to the earth, we see him being chased. He is running away from three men, while stating that humanity must be taught a harsh lesson from their abuse of the earth. During the chase, the virus expert gets cornered in a tower. The three men manage to catch up to the virus expert, and one of them is named Bouchard. Bouchard asks the virus expert to reveal the location of something. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the answer, as the virus expert chooses suicide rather than giving him the location. We then see a man named Langdon in a hospital bed. He has a head injury and is having a nightmare. The nightmare he sees is himself amidst a populated street in a city. In the streets, he sees glimpses of a plague doctor. After seeing the plague doctor, the surroundings of Langdon turn chaotic, as the street causes riots and panic. Langdon gets bumped into and falls on some stairs. He suddenly hears a woman whisper words of sinners and repentance. The people surrounding Langdon become distorted in his nightmare. Langdon then experiences a seizure in his bed, and the nurse calls for Dr. Brooks to help. Meanwhile, in Langdon's nightmare, he sees the plague doctor unmask himself. The face of the plague doctor is revealed to have grotesque and sickly features. Langdon's nightmare ends with a woman whispering to him to abandon all hope. Dr. Brooks arrives to tell him about his head injury being from a bullet wound. Dr. Brooks asks Langdon what he last remembered before he got shot. Langdon tells her that he was in Boston before his incident. Dr. Brooks says that he has been in the hospital for two days and was diagnosed with amnesia. Langdon then realizes that the hospital is in Florence, Italy, after seeing an Italian landmark. He becomes confused as to how he got here, and he gets a headache showing him a vision. Langdon then sees a glimpse of his memory where he was with a veiled woman. He thinks this might explain how he got here and asks Dr. Brooks. Dr. Brooks tells him that he was brought to the hospital by a cab driver, and there is no one else with him. She also says that Langdon's identification was missing when he got treated here. Langdon is curious about how she knows him and asks her about it. Dr. Brooks then reveals that she knows him from his college lecture when she was young. As they have their conversation, the police arrive to speak with Langdon. However, as the officer arrives, she fires her gun at them, killing the nurse. Dr. Brooks and Langdon manage to escape from the officer using a cab. Langdon keeps having headaches and gets a vision of a disaster being foreshadowed. The veiled woman in the vision tells him to find something before he goes unconscious. Langdon wakes up in Sienna's apartment and speaks with Sienna. Langdon gets interrogated about why he is targeted, but Langdon can't remember why. He tries to remember, but keeps getting a headache with visions of wars and disasters in human history. As Sienna prepares for tomorrow to get help, Langdon investigates his visions. Langdon finds clues leading to a location on what Langdon and his friends stole. Langdon is interrupted when the friend appears beside him. The friend then gets killed when a snake appears in his clothes and bites him. Langdon is shocked by this, but realizes it was just a vision. Sienna gives him clothes from a friend of his before calling for help. As Langdon gets dressed, he checks his old clothes for any other personal belongings. He finds inside his old jacket a biotube. This alerts Sienna to think that Langdon might be a fugitive for theft of government property. Langdon tries to prove his innocence that he isn't a fugitive, by showing that he might have owned the tube. As he opens it with his thumbprint, the tube opens, and inside is a cylinder. The cylinder is made from human bones, which worries them. Langdon depicts its design as associated with the Black Plague symbol. He also notices that it is also a Faraday pointer. The pointer is shaken by Langdon to reveal a projection. It shows a mural called Dante's Inferno, which depicts hell. Langdon decides to call the consulate to get help. As they get a call from the consulate, Langdon and Sienna think something is wrong. They give the consulate false information, and after a while, the police assassin arrives at the false location. Now, knowing they cannot trust anyone, they decide to escape themselves. Another group, called the World Health Organization, is shown to have found its real location. The French division group is led by Bouchard, and they rush to Sienna's place to capture Langdon. Langdon notices that there is a secret puzzle to this mural. The mural's secret puzzle is edited by the virus expert. The virus expert's mural is giving a clue to his followers to find the location of his hidden property. Langdon and Sienna investigate the virus expert more, and realize that his hidden property is an artificial plague. Langdon then solves the secret puzzle's code to find that plague and start their escape from the pursuers. Langdon and Sienna manage to lose their pursuers. Meanwhile, the assassin reports the situation to a secret organization she is with. 
A secret organization's leader named Sims receives the news and gives a kill order for Langdon. Sims thinks that there is more to this conspiracy and tries to uncover the answers. Since his organization is hired by the deceased virus expert, Sims knows their job is related to that mural. Langdon and Sienna continue to be on the run, while finding the trail leading to the virus expert's property. They both argue about the virus expert's belief in culling the human population. After their argument, they continue to their destination to a museum. Their journey is blocked, as the World Health Organization is there preparing to arrest them. Langdon and Sienna decide to find another way in. The organization spots them, resulting in a chase. They both outmaneuver the pursuers and manage to blend in with the crowd. As Langdon tries to solve the second piece of the puzzle, he experiences pain in his neck. He then hallucinates and thinks that he might be the carrier of the plague. Sienna convinces him that isn't true, and they continue to solve the code. They're interrupted when an acquaintance of Langdon greets him. Langdon doesn't remember her, but she unintentionally gives him a clue for the second puzzle. They follow Langdon's acquaintance to find a mask that will lead them to the next puzzle. They arrive at the place of the mask, but the mask is missing. The whole museum goes under lockdown, and they investigate who stole it. The acquaintance and the security check the security footage. She is shocked to discover that Langdon and his friend are the ones who stole the mask. Langdon doesn't remember, so he says that he is innocent. He promises to return the mask if he does find it and prepare to leave. Suddenly, Boucher's team and the assassin raid the museum. Langdon and Sienna escape using secret passages. Langdon then remembers his friend's clue on where they store the mask and heads to find the location. They continue to escape by going up. They both arrive at the attic, where Sienna falls through the support beams, revealing their location. The assassin detects them and pursues them in the attic. The assassin spots Langdon and proceeds to shoot him. Sienna manages to approach the assassin undetected. She hits the assassin, and the assassin falls through the floor of the attic, alerting Bouchard and his team. Bouchard sees Langdon, but he misleads his team in the wrong direction. As Langdon and Sienna escape the museum, Boucher follows them and goes AWOL on his team. Meanwhile, Sims is watching a post-suicide video of the virus expert. The virus expert gives his testimony on humanity's impending doom if overpopulation gets out of control. He presents his artificial plague as the infernal plague that will cull humanity's population by half. He preaches that it will save the world and humans, and it's a sacrifice for the greater good. Sims sees this and gets angry that his client is a madman. He still honors the virus expert's request of publicizing the testimony. However, Sims decided to stop the play from spreading due to potential business loss. On the other side, Langdon and Sienna arrive at the cathedral and find the mask. The mask hints where the plague is located, but Bouchard interrupts them before they can solve the clue. Bouchard greets them and asks about the plague's location. Langdon doesn't remember him, and Sienna explains his amnesia. Bouchard pauses for a bit, but continues to remind him of their past encounter in Boston. Bouchard says that he was the one who hired Langdon to solve the puzzle. He also reveals that Elizabeth, a friend of Langdon, is a biochemical arms dealer who intends to sell the play to the highest bidder. Langdon doesn't believe this smelly bullshit because of their history in the past. Bouchard manages to convince Langdon, and they depart for the location of the plague. Bouchard also misdirects Elizabeth and her team while they head to their destination. Langdon experiences a headache and recalls his memories. Langdon also realizes that Bouchard is lying to them and is using Langdon to get the plague. Langdon fakes his illness to distract Bouchard and tell Sienna the situation. They manage to escape from Bouchard and head to the Basilica to get the plague. Meanwhile, Sims and Elizabeth ally to stop the plague from spreading. As they arrive at the Basilica, Langdon asks a tour guide for hints on the clues they found. He then realizes they're in the wrong place and starts to head to the correct destination. Bouchard catches up to them, and a fast and furious chase occurs. Langdon and Dr. Brooks manage to find an escape route, but Sienna betrays Langdon. She reveals that she is the virus expert's lover, and she is the one whom the virus expert left the puzzle for. She also says that she used Langdon to find the plague before leaving him. Langdon tries to follow her, but is caught by Bouchard, and he is knocked out. Langdon wakes up tied to the chair, and Bouchard interrogates him. Boucher demands the location of the plague as he reveals himself as the arms dealer. However, before Boucher could threaten Langdon more, Sims saves Langdon and kills Boucher. Sims explains his reason for helping Langdon is purely for business gains. He also explains that Langdon's memory loss and fake encounters were actually done by Sim. Sims then fabricate a crime scene before they leave. As Sims and Langdon leave, he explains to Langdon their cooperation with Sienna. Sienna is also portrayed to be as mad as the virus expert, and Sims regretted working with them. 
A car arrives as they have their conversation. Langdon then sees Elizabeth arrive, and they have a warm reunion. Langdon reveals the virus's location, and they fly over to their destination. Langdon and Elizabeth have a chat about the past. Their chat reveals that they once had intimate feelings before. Langdon also begins to remember the whole events of his memory before he was kidnapped. Dr. Brooks meets up with a man with the same beliefs as the virus expert. She makes a backup plan for the plague to be released with him. Langdon's group arrives at their destination and looks for the final clue of where the exact location of the plague is. Langdon decrypts the riddle of the final clue and learns of the plague's exact location near them. Meanwhile, Sienna's group also decipher the final clue and prepare to head over there as well. She and her group of fanatics prepare explosives to ensure the plague is released. Langdon and Sienna's groups arrive on a cistern, where the plague will be released. Elizabeth orders her men to jam electronics while they find the plague. There is an ongoing concert, in which Langdon's group cancels to evacuate the civilians. There, Langdon and Sims combine their knowledge to pinpoint the packaged plague. Langdon and his group manage to find the plague and call for the containment team. However, Sienna sees this and arms the explosive to prevent the plague from being contained. Sims notices Sienna's team arming explosives and tries to stop them. Sims manages to fight two of Sienna's teams, but is killed by Sienna by surprise. Langdon sees Sienna kill Sims, he then chases after her. One of the men Sims fought, survives, and heads to the plague to sabotage its containment. The containment team for the plague arrives and prepares to contain it. Just before Sienna could detonate the bombs, Langdon tries to talk her out of it. He fails to persuade her, and Sienna uses her phone to detonate. However, her phone detonator is jammed, and instead, she manually detonates the bomb. She blew up along with the bomb and destroyed a lot of the cistern structure. Fortunately, the containment of the plague was a success, but one of the fanatics with Sienna emerges. The fanatic tries to break the containment box, but Langdon and some soldiers manage to subdue him. Langdon and Elizabeth succeed in preventing the plague. Langdon then heads back to the museum where his acquaintance is and returns the mask as promised. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.